a beloved city. Fill us, O oh God, with a spirit of unity and understanding, which enables us to face our multiple, multiple problems with serene mind, with justice and charity for all, so that any and all decisions made by us will always be for the betterment and greater happiness of all our fellow citizens. So help us, God. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Will the court please call a roll? Alderman Wilshire. Here. Alderman Clemens. Alderman Dean. Here. Alderman Cookson. Present. Alderman Dowd. Present. Alderman Karen. Here. Alderman Siegel. Present. Alderman Shuneman. Here. Alderwoman Malizi Gola. Present. Alderman McGinnis. Here. Alderman LeBrun. Here. Alderman Moriarty. Here. Alderman O'Brien. Present. Alderman Lopez. Here. Alderman McCarthy. Present. 14 present. I think that's 15. And 15 present. <laughs> 15 present. <laughs> Also present are Mayor Donchus and Corporation Counsel Steve Bolton. Does the mayor wish to address the board? Uh, <clears throat> yes, Mr. President. First, I wanted to mention the fact that we have the parade coming up on Monday. Uh, this coming Monday at 945 is when they've asked us to gather for a 1030 kickoff. It, as usual, it should be a very good event, and I hope as many members of the Board of Aldermen as possible can join me and uh, the parade committee to honor the veterans on Memorial Day. Today, we had the groundbreaking on the new David Dean Skateboard Park, which was a great event. If you go out there, you can see the scope and magnitude of this project. It, you can already begin to see the shape of the, of the skateboard park. It's obviously going to be really fantastic. Uh, David tells me, uh, Alderman Dean tells me it'll be the best skateboard park in New England, which having seen it, I believe, uh, it was fantastic to be able to uh, take, do the, do the uh, groundbreaking, and I would urge everybody to go out and, and check it out, and I can't wait for the opening, which we anticipate will be late August, early September. Other things that have happened recently is the Habitat for Humanity officially opened their their new home, the, the home they're working on, on Chestnut Street at the former location of the soup kitchen. That's a great project. They've gotten a really good and fast start on the project. That will provide a new home for two downtown Tree Street Nashua families. And they, uh, after doing other projects in the city, are again really coming through for our, na our neighborhood and uh, our community. Another thing that happened was that Friday night, the front door agency, which of course provides emergency medium to longer term housing for single mothers who are in distress, uh, they have their 30 year anniversary. And in addition to celebrating that, and they've made incredible progress from, the, from their beginnings, which were the pastoral care center over across the street uh, at the church, uh, that that started when I was mayor before, but they've made tremendous progress in that period of time. And in addition to that, Father Odie, who has been the pastor of the church for slightly over 30 years, is retiring, and the dinner was honoring his retirement. And of course, he has given everything he possibly could and, and to the front door agency and has done a fantastic job with them over these 30 years. And so we will, we will uh, miss Father Odie. This afternoon, there was a very nice event putting, put on by Mr. Zanitti's high school uh, American history class, 20th century history. They uh, did a, conducted a tour, a trolley tour around the city where we stopped and vi visited various historic locations and five members of the class explained uh, many things about Nashua history to everybody that was on the bus. There were some school board members, Principal Bastide from the high school, and some citizens. It was really nice, and I wanted to thank Mr. Zanitti and his class for, for conducting that. On tonight's agenda, Mr. President, there's the Crown Street Park and Ride. 
this is the follow-up project to the acquisition of the prospective rail station that we bought with federal funds uh, several years ago. This project, the conversion of or the, or the establishment of a park and ride at that site is being paid for not by city funds but by federal funds. It's definitely something we should go forward with. Uh, the contract is on the, on the agenda. And uh, if we did not, for whatever reason, decide to go forward with it, we would need to pay back the million two of federal money we already used to acquire the project. So I would strongly recommend that you endorse the position of the committee and of the Board of Public Works to go forward with that project. And finally, uh, Mr. President, the, a very sad item, tragic item that you will, you will see. Uh, we are being asked and we're all supporting the naming of the Little League Field at Memorial Park over by Lead Street in, fa in, in, in the name of Kyle Bettinger. Kyle was a young man from Nashua who spent most of his life uh, on one or other of the Nashua ball fields as a Little League player and on up through the ranks and then ultimately as a coach. Paul suffered a very tragic death in his family. Uh, Paul and Patty, excuse me, Kyle suffered a very tragic death and his parents, Paul and Patty Bettinger, of course, have mourned him in the year since he lost and uh, I know it's been a very difficult year for them. Uh, Kyle died of a very rare uh, illness uh, caused by septus, it seems like. And w in order to commemorate Kyle's dedication to the, to the community and this very tragic loss, uh, the Board of Public Works has recommended that we name the field after Kyle, which uh, I think, of course, is uh, a very uh, good thing to do. And uh, I, kn I know we will uh, do that on a unanimous basis. I believe the Bettingers are here and they probably will want to address us briefly. Uh, again, a very tragic loss for our community and I'm glad we're able to recognize Kyle in the way that's uh, being proposed. Uh, with that, uh, Mr. President, uh, that concludes my remarks. Any responses to the remarks of the mayor? Before we move to the recognition period, I'll uh, ask, uh, I believe it's Mr. Brown that wants to address the board. Please come forward. Mayor Dodges, President McCarthy, and the Board of Aldermen. Uh, my name is Mike Brown. I'm a resident of Nashua, live at 15 Cathedral Circle in Nashua. I've been asked by the Bedingers to present on the behalf of them for Kyle's recognition and dedication of the field. And the Bedinger family, Paul, Patty, their daughter Kate is here, and their daughter Keegan, who is in New York City tonight, have been a strength and inspiration to all of us in the past year after the death of Kyle on May 10th in 2016. Um, I'd also like to thank Rob Holmes of Shelley Street in Nashua, who originally presented the petition to name the field after Kyle and got the ball rolling. Unfortunately, he's traveling on business tonight as well. Um, the background, and I'll connect the dots that Mayor Donches gave us. On uh, May 10th, 2016, Kyle passed away in Mass General in Boston after a one-week illness uh, that was ultimately defined as severe septus. For those of you who don't, don't know about the disease septus, it's an overwhelming response by the body to infection, which can lead to tissue damage, and in Kyle's case, organ failure, as well as amputations and death. I won't go into a lot of details, but in, a, in 2016, there were 258,000 individuals that died of the disease, which is more in one year than all deaths combined of prostate cancer, breast cancer, and AIDS. Um, at the time of Kyle's death, he'd been a longtime resident of Nashua and was employed by Rapid Manufacturing in Nashua. Amongst his many passions in life, Kyle was known for his love of baseball, his love of the Boston Red Sox, as well as his beard. Um, when he passed, a family member, uh, one of Paul and Patty's nieces, 
came up with a likeness, uh, and that likeness is the picture here of which you can see the baseball cap and the beard, and it's a likeness that's representative of Kyle. As a matter of fact, he was so well thought of, there's actually an individual in attendance tonight that has the tattoo, that has the likeness tattooed on his shoulder. Um, I was fortunate to coach in Nashua Cal Ripken for 14 years, of which seven of those years I coached Kyle. Um, his spirit and passion were remarkable. In his playing career, he started in 1994 and played at T-ball, then went on to rookies, then went on to the minors, then went on to the majors, then went on to a Nashua Cooperstown team, then played Ray Oban, then played Penichuk Junior High, then played Babe Ruth, then played at Nashua High School. When he was done playing, he gave back to the community by being an umpire from 2008 to 2010 uh, in both Cal Ripken minor and major leagues, and then as a Little League coach in 2012. All told, his playing and coaching career in Nashua went from 1994 through 2012. Kyle and I shared a common bond, baseballs, baseball and birthdays. Uh, as a matter of fact, we share the same birthday on June 15th, and I happened to be in the room the day he was born on June 15th. He's one of the few city kids that can say I truly played for the Red Sox because he played it for the Red Sox in Cal Ripken, Nashua North, which was the only major league team at the time that was called the Red Sox. Uh, it was while playing for the Red Sox that he delivered one of my favorite moments, or one or my most favorite moment in 14 years of coaching. As a matter of fact, I had a painting made for the Bedingers. As you can see here, Kyle catching a ball off of the pitcher's mound in celebration in the background. At that particular moment, we were in a playoff game at Nashua North on June 15, 2012, and Kyle was able to deliver one of the best birthday presents that I ever had. He was facing a batter in extra innings. We were up by one run. The batter led the city that season with 22 home runs. The bases were loaded. Kyle was a small lefty, and the guy at the plate was about my size as a 12-year-old. Uh, Kyle got uh, hit, induced him to hit a pop-up, which he caught on his knees, and that particular catch put us into what at the time was called the Nashua City Champions Championship, and we went on in that tournament to finish third. And for the Red Sox at the time, that was a monumental leap and something that we still celebrate to this day, and I can still see in my eyes that catch as if it occurred last night. In closing, I highly recommend naming a youth field after Kyle Benger. It's an appropriate honor for someone who had a passion for baseball, played at all levels of Nashua baseball, and for those of you that have been connected with Nashua youth baseball, I named every level that you can possibly play at. And when he was done, he gave back to the community. His death was a, tr a tragedy and came far too soon for all of us. But Kyle is the type of youth and young adult that the city of Nashua should be proud of, commemorate, and celebrate. Thank you for your time and your understanding. Recognition period. First reading of Resolution 17-103, recognizing Kyle Benninger and naming the Little League field at Memorial Park on Ledge Street Kyle Benninger Field. Alderman Dean. Thank you. I move that the rules be so far suspended as to allow for a second reading of R17103. Motion is that the rules be so far suspended as to allow for a second reading of R17103. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? And that motion carries. Second reading of Resolution 17103. <clears throat> Recognizing Kyle Benninger and naming Little League, the Little League Field at Memorial Park on Ledge Street, Kyle Benninger Field. Alderman Dean. 
I move for final passage of R17103. Motion is for final passage of R17103. <clears throat> is there any discussion? If not, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries and R17103 is adopted. You read the resolution, Mr. Chairman? Absolutely. Resolution recognizing Kyle Benger and naming the Little League Field at Memorial Park on Ledge Street, Kyle Benger Field. In the year 2017, resolved by the Board of Aldermen, the City of Nashville recognized Kyle Benger and that the Little League Field at Memorial Park on Ledge Street shall be named Kyle Benger Field. Kyle Bedinger, the son of Patty and Paul Bedinger, very nice people, by the way, was born and was a lifelong resident of Nashua. He attended Nashua schools and graduated from Nashua High School North in 2007, where he was on the baseball team and golf teams. Kyle played youth baseball and golf throughout his sports years and was a member of the Merrimack Verley, uh, Valley Curling Club. He's a good curler, too. I used to see him on the ice on occasion. He loved watching sports and was an avid Red Sox fan and Patriots fan. His last job was at Rapid Sheet Metal in Nashua as a, product, a project engineer. Kyle was kind and caring, and he had a gentle soul and a big heart. He made everyone feel at ease and comfortable in his presence and always had a smile on his face. Kyle's involvement in Nashua baseball included the following, 1994 to 95, Rockies T-Ball, 96 to 98, Orioles, 99, Miners, 2000-2001, Red Sox Majors, 2002, Ray Oban, Penichuk Middle School, and the Diamond Devil Cooperstown team. 2003, Rangers, Babe Ruth, Penichuk Middle School. 2004, Rangers, Babe Ruth, National High School North. 2005-2006, National High School North. 2008-2010, umpire for minor and major league games, 2012, coached Little League Mariners. Kyle died unexpectedly on May 10th, 2016, at the age of 26, after suffering from a sudden illness. Naming the Little League field at Memorial Park on Ledge Street after Kyle is a tribute to his life and love of sports. That's it. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Alderman Dean. Reading the minutes of the previous meeting and public hearings, Alderman Wilshire. Thank you. I move that the minutes of the Board of Aldermen meeting of May 9, 2017, and the public hearings conducted by the Human Affairs Committee on May 8, 2017, and the Budget Review Committee on May 15, 2017, be, placed, be accepted, placed on file, and the reading suspended. Motion is that the minutes of the Board of Aldermen meeting of May 9, 2017, and those of the public hearings conducted by the Human Affairs Committee on May 8, 2017, and the Budget Review Committee on May 15, 2017, be accepted, placed on file, and that the readings be suspended. Is there any discussion of that motion? If not, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? And that motion carries. Communications? Alderman Dowd? Yes, uh, I'd like to make a motion that all communications be read by title only. Motion is that all communications will be read by title only. So all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? And that motion carries. Communication from John Griffith, Chief Financial Officer, relative to uncompleted project status report. Alderman Dowd? Motion to uh, accept and place on file. Motion is to accept and place on file. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? And that motion carries. Communication from Mayor Jim Donchus rel relative to award of 25 Crown Street Park and ride construction. Alderman Dowd? 
Yes, I'd like to make a motion to accept, place on file, and award the contract to George R. Karen and Sons, Inc., in the amount of $1,653,175. Motion is to accept, place on file, and award the contract to George R. Karen and Sons in the amount of $1,653,175. Is there any discussion of that motion? If not, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Nay. And that motion carries. Communication from Mayor Jim Donches relative to award of 2017 sewer replacement program. Alderman Siegel. Mr. President, I'd like to make a motion to accept place on file and award the contract to DeFelice Corporation in the amount of $3,255,683. Motion is to accept, place on file, and award the contract to DeFelice Corporation in the amount of $3,255,683. Is there any discussion of that motion? If not, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? And that motion carries. Period for public comment relative to items expected to be acted upon this evening. No one has signed up. Nominations, appointments, and elections. To the Honorable Board of Aldermen, I have this day appointed Mark Perlman, 70 Crestwood Drive, Hollis, New Hampshire, to the Office of Business and Industrial Development Authority for a term to expire April 30th, 2020. I have this day appointed John Stabile, 48 Lutheran Drive, Nashua, New Hampshire, to the Office of Business and Industrial Development Authority for a term to expire September 13th, 2019. I have hereby, I have this day appointed David Dennehy, 56 Sharon Ave, Nashua, New Hampshire, to the Office of Business and Industrial Development Authority for a term to expire September 1st, 2019. I have this day appointed Simon Saris, 23 Auburn Street, Nashua, New Hampshire, to the Office of Downtown Improvement Committee for a term to expire December 31st, 2019. I have this day appointed Cy Mufis, 20, 227 and a half Main Street, Nashua, New Hampshire, to the Office of Downtown Improvement Committee for a term to expire December 31st, 2019. I have this day appointed Ron LaFerrer, 93 West Pearl Street, Nashville, New Hampshire, to the Office of Downtown Improvement Committee for a term to expire December 31st, 2019, and respectfully, respectfully request that these appointments be confirmed. Alderman Clemens. Thank you. I move to accept the appointments by the mayor as read and refer them to the Personnel and Administrative Affairs Committee. Motion is to accept the appointments by the mayor as read and refer them to the Personnel and Administrative Affairs Committee. Is there any discussion? Not all those. I, I have a question. Alderman Dean. If these are all reappointments, don't we normally ask if anyone wants them to appear? Yes, we do. Does anybody want these people to appear for interviews at the personnel committee? Okay. So what do we do now? And we send it to the committee and have it come back. Okay. Any further discussion of the motion? Alderman Moriarty? I have a comment. It's more of a point of uh, sort of opinion. Uh, the, at least the first three or four, it, traditionally it's the home address that's listed. Uh, it doesn't have to be. Maybe it's just my, in, my assumption, and that may be incorrect, that people use their home addresses here. But uh, it, uh, the, the last two, Simon Foos, I don't think he lives at 227 Half Main Street, Nashua. I guess we could use a business address, but it sort of seemed more consistent if, if all home addresses would have been listed. I mean, people who are who live outside the city and contribute, that's fine with me. It might as well take credit for it. I believe the address is given that way because the requirements of membership are that you must have a business or live in the downtown. For that committee? Yes. Okay. Gotcha. Thank you. And Mr. LaFleur does indeed live on West Pearl Street. Okay. Further discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? And that motion carries. 
reports of committees. If there are no objections, I will de declare the uh, reports of the Budget Review Committee of May 4th, May 15th, May 18th, 2017, accepted and placed on file. If there are no objections, I will declare the report of the Finance Committee of May 17th, 2017, accepted and placed on file. And if there are no objections, I will declare the report of the Human Affairs Committee of May 8th, 2017, accepted and placed on file. Alderman Wilshire. Thank you. I move to suspend the rules. Uh, I move that the rules be so far suspended as to allow for an oral report of the Human Affairs Committee meeting held earlier this evening regarding Resolution 17-101. Motion is that the rules be so far suspended as to allow for an oral report of the Human Affairs Committee meeting held earlier this evening regarding R-17-101. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? <coughs> Motion carries. Alderman Wilshire. Thank you. Yes, the Human Affairs Committee met at 7 o'clock this evening to take up Resolution 17-101 uh, relative to the acceptance and appropriation of 808 thousand two hundred ninety eight dollars from the state of New Hampshire Department of Health and Human Services into public health and community services grant activity FY 18 FY 19 public health network services this is a another time sensitive grant it came in right at right after our last human affairs meeting it needs to be up to the governor and council for their last meeting in May you know, before June 1st so that's why we uh, we held a special meeting this evening to uh, take up this piece of legislation. Uh, it it uh, the committee recommended final passage. It will fund a substance misuse coordinator and prevention program. Uh, it also will fund some youth education for 15 to 25 year olds on substance abuse leadership and training. So we think this is a really good use of this fund, and we hope that you will um, motion to pass this this evening. That concludes my report. If there are no objections, the oral report will be accepted and placed on file. Written reports from liaisons? There are none. Confirmation of the mayor's appointments? There are none. Unfinished business resolutions? Second reading of resolution 17-095 authorizing the mayor to apply for and expend the Community Development Block Grant, CDBG, and the Home Investment Partnership Program funds for the fiscal year 2018. Alderwoman Alder Melissa Goyer. Yes, I would move to amend R-17095 in its entirety by replacing it with the goldenrod copy provided with the agenda. And um, the at our last... Um, Human Affairs meeting, it was brought to our attention that it's anticipated that um, the federal government will be level funding um, for this award, but because it's a formula, we're not sure um, exactly what our numbers are going to be. So if you look at the end of um, this piece of legislation, um, there's wording that allows to adjust um, the numbers to reflect whatever increase or decrease we get in the annual home fund. Um, and also there was um, community or um, economic development um, requested that instead of putting 15000 in the micro enterprise fund, which has um, around $43,000 in it, that that be combined with the money they had requested for the fire station um, and that that was the priority this year. So those are the changes that came out of committee. Thank you. Motion is to amend by replacing R-17095 in its entirety with the goldenrod copy provided with the agenda. Alderman Wilshire. I will not be voting on this piece of legislation as I'm employed by the Children's Home who has requested funding in this resolution. Thank you. Any further discussion? If not, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries and the agenda, the amended, amendment is adopted. Alderwoman Wilson? Yes. Uh, um, I would yeah. move for final passage of R-17095 as amended. Motion is for final passage of R-1795 as amended. Discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? And that motion carries. Our 17095 is adopted.
Second reading of resolution 17-097, authorizing the mayor and the city treasurer to issue bonds not to exceed the amount of $1,200,000 for roof replacement work at Fairgrounds Middle School and Ledge Street Elementary School. Alderman Dowd. I'd like to make a motion for final passage of R-17097 by roll call, and I'd like to speak to it. Motion is for final passage of R-17097 by roll call. Alderman Dowd. <coughs> yes, uh, the majority of this work is at the Fairgrounds Middle School, and as was addressed by Mr. Smith when he was here at the Budget Review Committee, um, parts of the roof are being held down by having heavy tires on them. Uh, it's in immediate need of repair, and a smaller part of the, is this covers a small piece of roof on the Ledge Street Elementary School, but the majority is at the Fairgrounds Middle School. Any further discussion? If not, would the clerk please call the roll? Alderman Wilshire. Yes. Alderman Clemens. Yes. Alderman Dean. Yes. Alderman Cookson. Yes. Alderman Dowd. Yes. Alderman Karen. Yes. Alderman Siegel. Yes. Alderman Shuneman. Yes. Alderwoman Malise Gola. Yes. Alderman McGinnis. Yes. Alderman LeBrun. Yes. Alderman Moriarty. Yes. Alderman O'Brien. Yes. Alderman Lopez. Yes. Alderman McCarthy. Yes. Fifteen yeas. Motion carries, and R-1797 is adopted. Second reading of Resolution 099, approving a First Amendment to Tower Replacement Agreement with Verizon Wireless. Alderman Dodd. Motion for final passage of R-17099. Motion is for final passage of R-17099. <laughs> is there any discussion? If not, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? And motion carries and R-1799 is adopted. Second reading of resolution 17-101 relative to the acceptance and appropriations of $808,298 from the State of New Hampshire Department of Health and Human Services into Public Health and Community Services Grant Activity FY 2018 and FY 2019 Public Health Network Services. Alderman Wilshire. Thank you. I move for final passage of Resolution 17101. Motion is for final passage of R17101. Is there any discussion? If not, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries and R17101 is adopted. Second reading of Resolution 17-102 relative to the transfer of $25,000 from the Department 194, Contingency Account 70100, General Contingency to FY17, Department 109, Civic and Community Activities, Accounting Classification 56, Outside Agencies for the purpose of donating to the Nashua Association for the Elderly. Alderman Curran. Yes, thank you, Mr. President. I'd like to make a motion for final passage of R-17-102. Motion is for final passage of R-17-102. Is there any discussion? Alderman Wilshire. Thank you. I'd like to uh, commend Alderman Karen and the work she and the board have done over at the uh, Nashua Senior Center. They continue to do good work over there, and I'm happy to support this piece of legislation. Further discussion? If not, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries, and R-17-102 is adopted. Unfinished business ordinances? There are none. New business resolutions? First reading of resolution 17-104 relative to the acceptance and appropriations of up to $300,000 from the State of New Hampshire Department of Transportation into Transit Grant Activity, Transit Capital Outlay. Additional okay. sponsors, Alderman Wilshire, Alderman Dowd, Alderman Karen, Alderman Melissa Golia, and Alderman O'Brien, and Alderman Lopez. And R-17-104 will be assigned to the Human Affairs Committee. First reading of Resolution 17-105, updating the Citizen Participation Plan for HUD programs 
to reflect assessment of fair housing requirements. Alderman Wilshire, Alderman, Alderwoman Lizzie Golia, Alderman O'Brien, and Alderman Lopez would like to be added. And R17105 will be assigned to the Human Affairs Committee. First reading of resolution 17-106, authorizing the city to enter into an agreement and consent to joint use with Eversource. Additional sponsors, Alderman Siegel, Alderman Dowd, Alderwoman Lizzie Golia, Alderman O'Brien, and myself. And R17106 will be assigned to the Committee on Infrastructure. New business ordinances. First reading of Ordinance 17-039, amending the zoning map by expanding the historic overlay district by adding Greeley Park. Alderwoman Mosey Golia. Yes, I would move to accept the first reading of 017039, assign it to the Planning and Economic Development Committee and the Nashua City Planning Board, and that a public hearing be scheduled for Tuesday, June 20th, 2017 at 7 p.m. in the Aldermanic Chamber. Motion is to accept the first reading of 01739, assign it to the Planning and Economic Development Committee and the Nashua City Planning Board, and that a public hearing be scheduled for Tuesday, June 20th, 2017, at 7 p.m. in the Aldermanic Chamber. Is there any discussion? If not, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? The motion carries. Period for a general public comment. One, people, one, one person has signed up. Uh, Elizabeth Carroll? I don't believe she's here. Remarks by members of the Board of Aldermen. I'll start over here. Alderman Lopez. Um, I would just like to say I was really looking forward to running the Gate City Marathon, except I managed to scratch my eye the night before, so I wasn't able to compete. But uh, it was an outstanding event. Um, I want to thank the Gate City Striders for putting it on um, and apologize to the constituents who put signs out. I will definitely run next year. Alderman O'Brien. Yes, sir. Thank you. Uh, I would like to express my regrets due to a family wedding. I won't be able to make this year's Memorial Day uh, uh, parade and everything, but uh, I would like to thank our veterans, particularly those that have made the supreme sacrifice in defense of our nation, and this, this is this very special day. Thank you. Also there, Alderman, Alderman Lizzie Gullia. Yes. Um, last week, um, VFW Post 483 celebrated the opening of their new um, home on 8 East Pearl Street, and so congratulations to them as they get settled in there. Um, also, um, ADK, which is a Educators Honor Society, is having their annual plant sale on June 3rd at 15 Spencer Drive. Um, this organization is... Um, made up of teachers here in the Nashua School District. And every year, the money that they raise is used to um, provide two scholarships, um, $1,000 each for high school seniors going into education. And last year, they also spent over $3,000 providing clothing, fooding, and personal care, food and personal care items to students within our school. So um, if you are looking for plants, they always have a great supply. And finally, a reminder, um, Taste of Nashua is June 7th from 6 to 8.30. And I believe we all received to notice that um, there's still some reduced price tickets available until May 26. So hopefully we'll have good weather. Thank you. Anybody else? Alderman Dowd? Yes, I'd just like to make note that the intersection of Sharon Avenue and Amherst Street, the construction is moving along quickly, and they plan for completion of that work, including the repaving of that portion of Amherst Street in mid-July. Alderman Clemens? Thank you. I want to welcome back our colleague, Alderman McGinnis. Oh, Glad to see you back. And I also want to um, take a moment to thank uh, our men and women in the military who have made the ultimate sacrifice. Thank you. Alderman Wilshire. Thank you. I just want to uh, make mention of an article uh, about Lieutenant Carlos Camacho of the National Police Department. It's from the Archdiocese of uh, Manchester. Really nice, well-written article about Carlos Camacho. Such an awesome, awesome addition to our, or member of our police department. And it's really, really good article. I'll leave it in the back room for those of you who might like to look at it. 
I had the pleasure of attending the uh, groundbreaking this morning for the skate park as well. It really is a uh, fantastic piece of work and I think it'll be a great asset to the city. And while I was standing there looking at it, it's nestled in between Stella Stadium and Conway Arena and the YMCA and uh, all of the work we've done at, at Mine Falls. And it, we really have provided some great recreational activities for our citizens over the years. But I do want to thank Alderman Dean for his work on getting the park to uh, have a location and uh, in pursuing getting a great design for a great new facility. Alderman Dean. I can't wait to see the uh, O'Brien versus Siegel match when it's completed. <laughs> Can you get this? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be in charge of dialing 9 1. Paramedics will be standing by, yes. Are there any con committee announcements? Alderman Dowd? Yes, uh, this Thursday at the National High School North at 7 o'clock, construction committee and followed immediately by the Joint Special School Building Committee. Alderman Cookson. Thank you. Committee on Infrastructure will be here tomorrow evening at 7 p.m. Anything else? Is there a motion? Alderman Wilshire. Motion adjourn. Motion is to adjourn. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed? And we are adjourned at 8.11.